Trains and ferries were the way that many people traveled to New York City in the pre-expressway late 1940s. Pulsating rail lines stretched in nearly every direction from America's largest city, as rail armadas of steam, diesel, and electric trains transported thousands of commuters and other passengers to and from the city every day. Inland from the east bank of the Hudson River, trains of the Putnam and Harlem divisions of the New York Central Railroad brought riders from stations in nearly 50 bedroom communities into the city. While more riders crossed the Hudson River on ferry boats from Weehawken, New Jersey, after riding trains of the West Shore Line of the New York Central, our focus on the west side of the Hudson is the struggling New York, Ontario, and Western Railroad, operating into the Catskills from a connection with the West Shore at Cornwall, New York. Join us as we relive bittersweet memories of when steam power slowly yielded to diesels on these once critical rail arteries. Tracks fan out as we approach the main line and high bridge. We overtake a Q Motor electric switching freight cars in the yard. Arrival at High Bridge meant getting off the Putnam Division train and climbing the stairs. Meanwhile, at the Elmsford station, express shipments are unloaded from the baggage car, and then the crossing gates are dropped so that 10-wheeler number 1274 and its train can continue on its way. Classic rural railroading and classic post-war automobiles dominate the next several scenes. Class F-12E 10-wheeler number 1244, built by Alco Schenectady in 1908, had cylinders with outside valves and Walshirt gear. It's heading up the Putz local freight. It moves back to couple up its train and get underway and continue down the line. The eastbound reaches the Sedgwick Avenue stub end terminal. The car drifts back through the switch. Number 1274, one of the newest 10 wheelers on the put, gets its train underway. XC was where a short track from Golden's Bridge on the Harlem Division connected with the put. The train backs down the long siding at Lake Mahopac, milepost 42.63. Even the New York Central's legendary Hudson's, bumped off premier mainline runs, ran on the Harlem Division during the last few years of steam. Class J2 number 5456, one of 20 slightly smaller Hudson's, was originally built by Alco Schenectady as Boston and Albany Railroad number 601. Here it pulls ahead slowly and then is seen backing into the yard after dropping its train. 
a commuter slogs his way through the nearly knee-deep snow to the railroad station. Snow or no, the trains are running. A headlight appears, and the few brave souls gingerly descend the snow-covered steps to the station platform. Number 8250, an Alco RS3, is on the head end of this four-car train. Everybody climbs aboard, and the train is on its way. The train crosses the high bridge over Drewville Road at Crafts between Lake Mohopec and Brewster. Next are the causeway and bridge at Tilly Foster. Vintage rail equipment can be seen as we pass through Mayfield Yard. Cadozia, New York was the junction with the O&W main line. Number 316 is a consolidation built by Cook in 1911. Number 405, the excursion engine, is being serviced. <laughs> 